Hello everyone, Zach the Ninja here. I'm going to be showing you how to get the new Quartz Regalia, uh, I think that's how you pronounce it, from the auction house, because you might want a lot of versions of this, because there's many different engines you can put in, and it can get into S1 and A class, and there's lots of different classes the monster truck can get into, which is this version. So first what we want to do is go to the festival site and to find the car, it's, it's under quartz, that's the make. See, but you'll see there's none here because everyone keeps sniping them. Because people are getting them, there's loads of people selling them, but there's more people trying to buy them because it's quite a good car. As you can see, I've managed to get quite a few. Only every player sh only is able to get one, other than through the auction house. See, I've got all these from, from the auction house. But to get them from the auction house, if you want more than one, well, if you only want one, I'll show you. You just do this event here. That's, that's how you get one. This is how everyone's getting there. See, there's two people here probably starting it. And they'll be getting one from there, but if you want more than one, you need to go through the auction house. That's the only way to, you can get another. So, what you want to do in order to snipe them, as you would say, go to Quartz, press Search, and you can keep repeating it like this. However, you have to scroll a bit. You, this is quite quick compared to other cars, like because it's near the back. But you want as much advantage as you can get. So instead of just doing this over and over, what you want to do is press X on your controller or on keyboard. And keyboard, it's X anyway. I'd recommend doing this on controller because you can. It's a bit easier to input everything. Go to the 720s because that's when the car is made, and then press confirm. See, and you can search a lot quicker like this. You need to search like this because this is the only way to refresh the auction house. It won't refresh by just sitting there. Oops. See, I, if I just sit here, this won't refresh. Like this is not going to change no matter how long I wait also doing this doesn't refresh it the, like going to your auction alerts and pressing back that's not going to do anything it's still gonna keep it's still gonna stay empty as long as as long as you're waiting there so to refresh it just do this go to 720s and once one pops up like that, you two very quick. I see I was too slow. See, one does pop up like this. What you want to do is straight away press Y. This will, instead of pressing A and viewing the car, see, this will take forever. Someone have already bought it by now. There's no way you're going to be able to do this and then buy out. What you need to do is press Y, press down one, and then press buy out, and then press A again. Obviously, you're not going to get this because someone's already got it. But or on keyboard, it, it's, it's still Y. Can't buy it out because obviously someone else has already bought it out. So yeah, it would be Y on keyboard and controller. So I'm just going to keep going until one pops up again. Now you need to be very fast. You can't hesitate looking at it, otherwise it will be gone straight away. And also, the faster you search, the more likely one is to pop up. Because some people could be selling them and I'm missing them right now while I'm searching. So you don't want to take too long searching for it. You want to be refreshing as much as possible in order to get them popping up as quick as possible. I say one appears for me about every minute or two. So once you do get one, don't accidentally press back because sometimes that happens. Like you get into the routine of doing this, pressing back, and then you press Y straight away, and then go down and press buy out. 
and then spam the buyout button, otherwise, you know, you're just going to be waiting too long and you're not going to get it. So, this can be done with any cars though. Like, say, I wanted, you know, this is just a Quartz Regalia, but if I wanted the new Nissan that's coming out, see, this one takes quite a while, and I was very lucky to get another one of these. As it's, you can spend quite a long time searching for the ones that require this. See, see that's, this is taking a, much longer than just going for the year on the other one. And then I'll, I think it's quicker from the back. You've got to, like, where it is on the alphabet matters quite a bit because it's going to be saving you quite a bit of time. If you wanted to go for the Fair Lady, this is what you would be doing. But we're going for the Regalia. It's much quicker. You'll have a much higher chance of getting the Regalia because. And go straight to year, search 720s, and keep going like this. You know, this is probably one of the fastest cars you can search for because of the year it's from. It's straight away, it's the oldest car because it's from Final Fantasy. Fantasy. Oh, oh someone, see, someone's already bought this out. This is how quick people are. You need to be very quick. and. I'd recommend turning down your settings if you if you don't want any lag. Like turn everything down to minimum. So, oh, that's 11 million. I'm not buying that out. So you've also got to be careful of the price. You don't want to be buying out something that's way too expensive. Like it, you can really easily get ones cheaper than that for here. So don't like reactively buy it if you don't want to be spending that much money. You've got to look at the price as well as looking at as doing it all very quickly. And that's it. <laughs> that took a while. But I successfully claimed this car. That took a lot of patience, but uh, remember just be patient and you'll eventually get one. Just keep going through, going through, and you'll get the hang of pressing Y down and then A, then spamming A. It, it's, it can be done, as you can see. I only took about about 20 minutes, but I did mess up a few of my auctions by pressing back or hesitating a bit. Like you could you could do this in five or ten minutes or earlier if you get lucky. Like I have a lot of these. I'm not going to sell it obviously, because it's going to go straight away. But maybe if I become a master tuner and painter, then. I'll be able to sell them for 22 million. See here, the, here they all are, my cars. Also, I forgot to mention, for one of the, the way to get the Type Ds, 
I wouldn't buy these out for 11 million. It's not worth it. What you want to do to get the Type D is get your standard regalia, your and go into upgrades and tuning and car mastery. See here, look where it says quartz regalia D in this present here. It'll cost 99 uh, skill points, but that's how you get the car. So just spending like like 20 minutes, I've saved myself like 11 million by getting this car and then getting a D through this way. So then, then I've got two, then I've got both. I've got the normal regalia and the type D instead of buying out one of those other ones. You can if you've got if you want to spend 11 million on those, but it's a lot more worth it to try and get get one of these from the people who don't know what they're worth and trying to sell them by sniping one. I'd say it takes a lot less reaction time to buy one of the type D's because people don't want to buy those if you if you really if you really want two type D's then you can buy them out for 11 million if you want to but if you're patient enough you can get it through this way getting a normal one and then going in the skill points well I guess that's it I'll see you guys later bye